Hey guys, I want to start a new series on my channel that will either be in the car, so like a carpool chat similar thing, or uh, here in my office. And it's gonna be like a chit chat type theme of, you know, questions I'm asked, or, you know, comments I'm continuously getting, like a response to that type of stuff. So today's chat is going to be all about what we save money on and what we splurge money on. I saw this on Crystal Tara's vlog and I was like, I really like that. I really like seeing what other people spend their money on. Uh, for us, we are a double income family. I am working very part time and I'm bringing in very part time income. And then uh, my husband does work full time and is the main breadwinner of our house. So things that we save money on. I buy as much off-brand things as I can from the grocery store, from Costco, from Target, from anything. I love the Up and Up brand. I love the Kroger brand. We've been recently shopping at Aldi. I like that brand. I don't see a difference, and the things are normally a lot cheaper. Uh, I will look through the you know flyers and the sales and see if there's anything that's cheap that's a name brand, and if it is, I'll grab it that week. But for the main part, it's a lot of up and up stuff for our household and like paper products. The only thing I buy household wise that I do buy name brand is our um, Tide laundry detergent. I have older kids and I just feel that like it gets the smells out. I work out five days a week, six days a week and it gets, you know, the gym smells out and everything looks nice and fresh. It doesn't get dingy after a while. So for me, and I used to be real cheap and not do that, but that's the one thing I'll splurge on. But like, I'll wait until Target has like a gift card offer and a sale and they do it pretty regularly. Same with Amazon that I can normally get it for a very affordable price. So something that we do spend money on is Costco. We do buy the lower end Costco membership. My husband can get gas there and it's normally 10 to 15 cents cheaper each time he fills up and then we buy all of our meat there. We'll get their specials. I like a wine there. Uh, we normally need to go to Costco. Their milk is pretty cheap. Uh, eggs are pretty cheap. A lot of things that we get on a regular basis, we can save a lot of money at Costco because we are a family of six and, you know, we can go through food per pretty rapidly. You know, making eggs in the morning for everybody is easily 12 eggs. So there's that. We buy most of our meat there. Uh, another way that I save money is by my gym membership. So for many years, I worked out at Planet Fitness up in New England, and then I moved here and I joined the Y, and Planet Fitness was $10 a month, and the Y was $100 a month. Uh, at the time, it made sense because my kids were doing sports through the Y, and I needed the daycare through the Y, and all of that stuff, and once I ripped the mandate off this year and I went back to Planet Fitness, it was a little bit strange at first, but I'm very happy there now, and my membership is back to $10 a month. That's a huge savings that we, you know, definitely could use, and then... In return, I was able to hire a, per hire a personal trainer this last month and still be under the cost of the Y membership and that. I wouldn't recommend, you know, ha hiring a trainer, but I got to the point that what I was doing wasn't working anymore. So I'm hoping in hiring a trainer that I can get myself down and then it won't be something that I keep up with. Obviously, you know, I'll have them for a few months and then it'll get to the point that I kind of know what I'm doing or I'm, you know, I've gotten to a good point or whatever. Uh, another way that we save money is, you know, in times like the winter, um, my little kids won't take a shower every day. They're not really dirty. They're not going outside. It'll be like every other day that they shower. Uh, I wash my hair like once or twice a week, uh, given I follow a different method where it's not really that great to wash your hair every day. But like the first day I wash my hair, like today I wash my hair and my curls aren't as they normally are, but, um, you know, day two, three, four, my hair looks great. Uh, you know, we buy whatever's on sale for body care items. Every now and then we'll go to Bath and Body Works and it'll be a splurge, but you know, that's something that like we'll buy for gifts or if there's an amazing coupon out or whatever, but we always try to check the sales and flyers and see what's the best deal and always trying to get that stuff on sale. I really don't buy a lot of high end products in that aspect. Uh, a lot of my like makeup stuff is samples and then I will buy like nice palettes for my makeup 
I used to buy nice foundations, but then my skin did that weird thing where it's like every few years your skin changes and my skin definitely did. So I kind of scaled back and now I've been using Wet n Wild and Maybelline again and it works fine on my skin. Uh, but you know, there are a few things that I'll buy that are high end makeup wise and I try to watch Ulta and Sephora and wait until there's deals and sales and normally I'll save up and save up and save up and then around like Black Friday Christmas time that's when I stock up on my makeup and I get a lot of it and like my beauty envelope will just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and then all of a sudden it'll be depleted because I've saved so much and then I'll go and buy like like my liquid eyeliner is high end. All my mascaras that I use are typically samples. Um, my eyeshadow palettes I've had for a while you know like it just really depends my highlighter is high end but those things I just don't replace that often so it works very good in my favor ways that we splurge money is obviously going on vacation we really love theme park vacations and it it's just a vacation that works for our family you know for you it may be going to the beach or going to the lake or going to your local theme park or going to the zoo or going to Europe whatever works for your family you know let it be and that's what works for us and we've learned definitely ways to save and cut costs on our vacations but still enjoy our vacations but for us vacationing is a must um another way that we splurge money is uh you know my husband and i have four children we have been married for 12 years and we've been together for like 14 years and it's challenging and you know it's been a rough few years you know we moved we left all of our family uh changing jobs kids growing up it's just been a very different year and a way that we splurge is one to two times a week he and i will meet up for lunch and go to lunch while the kids are all in school and yeah it's an added cost but we need that we need that time to connect where it's just the two of us not with our kids around um, trying to fix things that are broken and be happy and um, you know talk about things that are going on or upcoming or just be able to have a conversation and it not be in interrupted or you know just go and be able to have a conversation <laughs> you know what I mean so that's a huge way that we've learned that we need we need date nights it's something that we have to do or everything feels like it's going to implode in our personal relationship that may not be that way with your relationship you know, you guys may be doing okay just staying in and watching a movie, but I mean, we have older kids, they don't go to bed later, and it seems like every weekend they have friends over, and so it just never happens. A way that we save money is my husband is in the auto industry, and so we drive old cars, very, very old cars, and it's always worked for us, and we never have car payments. Um, the van I have now, we had a car payment on it for about a year and a half, and I paid it off early, and my cars aren't beautiful but they're functional and they get me from point a to point b and i don't need a fancy car i don't need to spend that money i like having that two three four five hundred dollars a month in my pocket not going to a car dealer and then um you know like in a probably two years i'll need to replace my car and we'll just save up as much money as we can put all that down and take out a small loan and then try to pay that off very, very quickly. Again, like I think the car that we had, we took a four year loan out and we paid off in a year and a half. So if we can do something like that again, we'll be very, very happy with that outcome. A way that we save money is we don't put our kids in a ton of activities and sports and all that stuff. Um, I am very active in our kids' schools and they have a lot of free things going on here. Same thing with our church, a lot of free things going on in our church that I just don't feel the need to make everybody else stressed out and freaked out over sports and stuff like that because the kids just, they're not that into it. They just don't care that much. They'd rather hang out with their friends and stuff like that. And they're always changing their mind on what sports and that gets to be expensive when you're not only paying for fees but then buying them all new equipment not to mention you know the equipment's always changing and the way that we look at it is our kids aren't going to ever be a professional whatever so it's just not worth the stress the time the aggravation for us to do it uh, when they were younger and they wanted to do it and they had the ump to do it but it's like it just doesn't work for our family so it's not something that we feel worth spending our money on Another way that we save money is I keep the house pretty warm in the summer and pretty cool in the winter and that keeps our utility bills down really, really low. Uh, I am try to be really stingy with water as well. Uh, the bad place we are with water is when we're doing dishes, but really, really try to watch those utilities and, you know, call all those companies all the time. Like 
we have our cell phone plan. We have four cell phones on it. We have a four gig plan and we shut the data off of our kids' phones so that all they need to do is text us and call us. There are plenty of places with Wi-Fi that they can use it if they need it, but it's not a necessity that they would need. If they need Wi-Fi at school, it's at school. So it works really well for us that we really only need four gigs. We don't stream music from our phones. We try not to use our phones at all just to do like quick emails or stuff like that when we're out and about because that's a huge way to save money and keep our cell phone bill down where we do have four phones on our plan. Um, same thing with like, you know, if you want to have cable or internet or anything like that, just like call all the time. We call all the time and ask them to change. Like we had a great deal for to have TV, cable, and uh, security and the deal just wasn't there anymore. So we actually just recently uh, cut cable again and we're just using, um, we get some free streaming through our cell phone provider, um, but that's a huge way that we save money as well. This past Christmas, we went down to the something they want, need, read, wear. Santa gave them two gifts and it was the perfect Christmas. And we spent, I think, 150 or less on my two older kids and under $100 for my two little kids each. And that's really good, I think, for four kids. And, you know, just shop sales, shop smart, really start shopping early and thinking ahead. And that's a huge way to save money. Uh, we try to shop at grocery stores that offer gas programs. And like, if we are gonna go out to eat, if we're gonna do anything, I will stock up when they have four times gas rewards on gift cards. And so that $100 gift card can get me a lot of gas points. And so we do that every time, you know, that they run that so that we have something. So like, if we do have to run out and grab fast food out or something like that, we'll just pull it from our little gift card bin and say, okay, this is where we can eat this month. You know, this is what we have gift cards to. And that's a really great way to save money by, you know, bulking up those gas points. In the same way, you can use a website called raise.com and buy discount gift cards. We do that all the time. Uh, like a lot of times, so we use swagbucks.com for cash back on purchases. And a lot of places will let you order online and pick up in store. So we'll order online and pick up in store using swagbucks. So we'll get bucks back that we can use for gift cards. And then we'll use a raise.com to buy the gift card to purchase the stuff at a discount. And so it's like multiple ways that we're saving money and then we're still picking it up in store. We can still get it like that. And it just really, really works in our favor to do that, to, you know, get that little bit of cash back here and there, you know, even if it's only a dollar here or $2 there, that really adds up after a while. And we just let the gift cards, you know, roll and roll and roll and typically those are the gift cards that we use on vacation like we'll get a big starbucks one we'll get a landry's one so that we can eat at t brex or you know places like that and that's a huge way that we save a lot of money um over the years i used to buy tons and tons of home decor and i was constantly changing it up and as i've gotten older and i've started working more and you know my kids are older it's just i've definitely stopped doing that as much like i'll buy a few things here and there throughout the year but i just don't buy a lot of it so that's a huge way that we've saved money. And then like when we're sick of things or tired of things, we'll always try to post them on the local yard sale sites. And if they sell, great. And I'll just put that money back into the cash envelope. We do use cash envelopes. Um, I carry some cash in my car and then we have cash here. Like my envelopes here are beauty, birthday car, clothing, holiday, kids. And there's one more in the back and I forget what it is. I think it's Christmas. No. Uh, I can't see what the last one is. Um, but yeah Christmas we use cash envelopes so like if I sell something and it was a Christmas item or a decor item you know whatever like if it's a Halloween item it'll go on a holiday or Thanksgiving or Easter um, same thing with like toys it'll go into the kids fund clothing it'll go back into the kids clothing fund and that's a way that we keep our uh, envelopes a little bit padded as well that helps us a lot we do try to use cash as much as possible and I go every Friday. My bank thankfully has an ATM that gives me ones, tens, twenties, and hundreds. So I can really make my cash envelopes work that way. And I put all the cash in and we try to just stick to that. Uh, and that works really well and saves us a lot of money as well. And then all the coins that we get at the end of each uh, week, I go and put them in a coin jar. And like this last trip when we went to Universal, uh, we had over a hundred dollars from that coin jar that we you know, saved up just from using cash envelopes and saving all that extra cash, which is kind of cool. So we definitely find little ways here and there to spend and splurge. And I'm sure there's a lot that I've forgotten, but those are just some main ones that I can kind of think of off the top of my head. You know, obviously doing things like doing your own oil changes, mowing your own lawn, washing your own car, um, making your own food at home, 
those little things can really go a long way you know shopping at multiple stores for the sales just little things can really go a long way and you look at it and you think oh that's not a big deal oh that's just so little but in the end they really do all add up and it saves us a ton of money so that was my first chit chat if you have any ideas for any ones that you would like to see let me know and i will definitely try to get them filmed over the next few months when i'm sitting in carpool line all the time